Hello and welcome to Curse of the Dead Gods. What do we got here? We've got some Warmonger Claws, Barbed Whip, and Feathered Spear. We have Seeker's Mace, Worn Shield, and Serpent Bow. Throwing Knife, Storm Lash, and Swift Bow, as well as War Makana, Ancient Buckler, and Keen Bow. Uh, you know, I think it's been a while since I've done a bow run, so I'm going to try the Serpent Bow. With the Serpent Bow... Can't do Double Champion. Let's go ahead then and do this side. We'll do right side. And I gotta decide if I wanna go gold and then next extra mystery or mystery attribute something and then because I'm gonna go and do the champion, because the champion is a good place to gather resources from. Alright, we're familiar with the controls again. That's good. I said that this was going to be a bow run. Okay. Keep in the distance, which is what you want to do with bow runs. We got a couple traps there. That's nothing that we can't dodge out of the way. And healing effects. We'll go ahead and take that because we haven't been hit, so there's no reason to take the healing on our character. There's a War Makana. I'll take it for the gold. So far, pretty decent, pretty easy run. I think I'm going to go attribute, see if we can't buy an attribute. Because I've got plenty of gold to buy an attribute. Doing good on dodging so far. Let's see what this is. Gold offerings remove corruption. Sure. Pretty good greed combo um, being held. We're at 18 right now. In terms of this, I think it's better to get Yahtzee's right now. Save the gold that I have. But take the uh, increased damage. If that was perception and dexterity, definitely would have gone with um, that. But for right now, I think we're, we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. Okay, before we begin this challenge, I want to light all of the braziers up so that there's plenty of light. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. That's our first hit. And, ah. Uh, I didn't realize the big guy was right there. Okay. All right. That's unfortunate. That was real unfortunate. They cost health instead for blood offerings. Okay. If I can find a way to start replenishing health, that would be not bad. Zoo Cat the Witch is going to be a little annoying. Not too annoying. Because I can just keep her at a distance. Plenty of time to um, get out of the way of her range attacks. Until I don't. Wow, that's... I have no words. That, that is truly sloppy. Sloppy, 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 sloppy. I thought I was going to walk into that one. Dodge in the wrong direction. And she's dead. Easy fight, but still did some errors there. I paid for it. It's not wonderful. We no longer get sincere offerings, which I was going to be fine with. But, yeah. Um, in terms of this, I think I actually want to keep the Whispering Aegis. That way we get the possibility of the automatic parry. Not a high chance of it, but it's still a good chance. Was it one out of four times? It's 25%, right? Unfortunately, now that I play this and I'm feeling as this goes on, because I don't have, I have a weapon upgrade in the next area, and I'm going to need it because this is an exceptionally slow run, or relatively weak in terms of power. I'll take that. Now that we're boosting dexterity, though, we it is getting better, but it's still far from amazing. Bone Shard Whip. Nope, I'll take that for the health. We do have fantastic amounts of gold, though. Almost 2,000 gold. I think this is going to be a relatively wealthy run. Um, especially if I take the Sakal's gift. I'm not interested in raising my dexterity for this. Because I, if I play this correctly and play it how I should, I shouldn't be taking the hits because I'm not going to be within range of them. Because I'll be constantly out of range thanks to the... Uh, the bow and just the the nature of how it plays until you uh, take some bad hits like that hey 
Hey, remember when I said if I play correctly, I shouldn't be getting hit? Yeah, I should try and do that. Plus 30% against elites, champions, and bosses. I wish that we were already at like four or something. I gotta go attributes because I gotta keep boosting dexterity and perception. No more perfect dodges. That might hurt in the long run because a way that I was restoring stamina was perfect dodges. Perception. Love it. Gotta get more comfortable with doing the, the parry. This is, I will say, going to be a relatively rich run um, in terms of money, at least I hope so, based on um, the greed counter constantly going up since it freezes between um, engagements. So if I do it correctly, we should be pretty high. All right, I want both of those. Um, I'll spend the gold. Boss, thinking about what is coming after this, I'm going to want to go far left, do the Relic, Weapon Upgrade, Gold, Chest, Champion. First, I gotta, you know, defeat this champion. Which, he's, he's, he's pretty easy. It's going to kind of suck with the ads. But we can stay out of his um, attacks very easily. Because he telegraphs these attacks a mile ahead. Like, it includes prepaid postage with how far ahead he schedules his attacks. Just because I got hit doesn't invalidate what my uh, point was. He is by far the easiest champion to kill. Damage dealt also heals us. That's going to be pretty good, actually. I'll take that. Because it gives us... I'm not so interested in the gold um, removes cor gold offerings remove corruption. Even though we are removing 20 corruption with each gold offering. I'm more interested in the uh, four dexterity it gave me. Of course, having the three perception wouldn't have been e bad either. Because that would have been a permanent increase. 
but too late now. All right, ancient laboratory. That means fire dude is the uh, final champion. Healing good. I've got easy healing. Oh yeah, I've got real easy healing. Um, let's go ahead and oh, wait. I don't want that. I want to keep that on. Actually, I think I'll swap the ancient sensor out. I need all sources of healing to stay relatively increased. Yeah, let him let him do that. And now we're just it, it's gonna take a while to heal back any hits that we take, but we can slowly recharge our health. It's, it's probably not going to be too much in terms of the at the end. It's probably not going to be amounting to too much healing. But it will buy us at least an extra hit or two in the end. So if I could get things to start stacking for um, critical damage heals, that would actually be real fun. Because we could have healing in the middle of a boss fight, too. Now, hold on, hold on. This is technically a two-handed weapon. So if I take this... That's a plus one to it. Yeah, I'll do that. So now, yeah, now it's a plus three. Temple can switch and we get better perception. That's fine. We're at 18 perception. Bad damage from those in that engagement. Some real bad damage, but it's. I was trying to uh, parry way too much. Yeah, now we're just stacking damage on the serpent bow. Yeah. <laughs> 
who we got. That felt like he was overly far from me. That felt pretty cheap. He felt too far away for that one. Can't quite get in there. Damn. But I might be able to lead this guy. Come on. Come on, big boy. Yeah. Strategy. Crippling bow. We will not take that because I'm taking my serpent bow all the way to the end. baby. No, okay. I was concerned there. Oh, a little more gold. And into a vault. Now the vault, I really need to not lose it. I really want to win this vault. And it's probably just going to be, what, five enemies without damage? Focus the baby. All right, baby's d gone. Let the healing guy stay. Oh, the temple change that fucks me. The temple change fucks me. That was almost good. That was almost there. All right, we got big hammer. Don't want big hammer though. Maybe I should take big hammer. Oh my god. What's big hammer? All right, we're just, we're not even gonna stick with the one that we came in with. Stick with the original game plan. Changing things up now is just going to hurt. Okay, the bow does not allow for immediate parries afterwards. There's a bit of a delay there that I'm now realizing, and that's what's really hurting me. I can't go from an immediate shot to a parry. What is that? Charged attacks launch a single void bomb, detracting all nearby enemies before exploding. What? I think I skipped the champion. What are my curses right now? What are my curses? The Dark Brazers actually are annoying to me. Because that is causing me to take more damage. Okay. 
Okay. Am I going to die to Paul? Is this the first time that I've ever died to Paul? No, I'm not gonna die to him. Yeah, impossible to die to him. He's, he's a pushover. Let's get Shadow Flame out of here. Um, I'd rather take the Dexterity on that one. And this one, more critical damage, which we are constantly doing critical damage. And I'm going to remove the Golden Hourglass. Runic eggs activate automatically. Oh, wait, I got the shield. Right. I think the, uh, the shield is what saved me there with the, uh, parry. Oh, I was out of the way of that. Okay. Stacking crit damage is really good. With the bow, that is the way to take things. Stack crit damage. I think it's finally coming back. I think it's really finally coming back. Getting the extra crit damage off is helping a whole bunch. Now, he's going to be annoying. This guy's going to be real freaking annoying. Aspect of hubris. But, I should be able to keep distance... Okay, he delayed his his uh, strike on that. Really? 
it. Stop that. Get it. Okay, the poison helped me there. Oh, when he hit that, I thought it was like over. I'm like, how did he do that much damage to me in one hit? But no, we, we, we succeeded. We succeeded. Um, I don't want that. I'll take the penalty in perception, but I do not want it switching on me again. Um... We're just going to take the extra constitution. And I do not need that. As for what I want to have happen here, I think I go gold, upgrade, attribute, gold, attribute, champion, upgrade. vision that's fine i i kind of remember i kind of remember what my um path was so if i look at it, it it's this one forward not left forward follow 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 champion yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so i want to hug the right side constantly when i go down this temple <laughs> See him. Die, baby. Okay, they dropped a feathered spear for me. That's that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Take this for the weapon upgrade. Which does mean my second champion is going to be the twins, which I'm really not a fan of. Okay, what happened there? That felt like it shouldn't have happened. Like, I dodged out of the way, he delayed, he like, did the charge. De Is that a baby? That's a baby. Okay. Please die. Please. Oh dear. Oh dear. Hey, light, light it up for me. Grr. No, no, no. Keep distance. Keep distance. 
That is the only way that I'm going to survive this, is keeping my distance. Plus 12 to the single highest attribute. That's going to be plus 12 to dexterity. That's going to be amazing. We're going to put that on... Um, we're going to put that on Ancient uh, Sensor. 32 decks. Don't... Wait a minute. This was supposed to be a weapon upgrade. Not a weapon. Did I read it? I must have read it wrong. Oh, I should have done the champion. Damn it. <laughs> that curse oh, that curse affected me. Regular enemies can spawn an additional when killed. Oh boy. That's gonna be annoying as a um No, no, kill the baby, kill the baby. All right, big guy down. Now I just gotta focus on that guy. Come on, I can do this. Yes! Finally! We can remove a curse if we take if we don't take this one. If we offer it to the gods, we can remove a curse. Plus 50% to all what base damage, to all what damage taken. Uh, I think I actually take the codex of the accursed. Yeah, I think I take that, and I remove, um... I think I replace Sakal's Pendant. Okay, we're taking double damage, but we're dealing... We're, we're dealing double damage? Did I read that right? Base damage, plus 50%, plus 50%, oh, okay. We're not doing double damage, but we're doing an exceptionally more amount of damage. Which makes me think if I actually want to do... I'm now rethinking if I want to do the champion. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Get in the middle. Good. Can't enter that area. Don't have anything to break down the wall. We have 10,000 gold. Eleven thousand gold. And I can't see anything. I think I skipped the champion. I think I skipped the champion. Now that I'm going through this, I think it's the smarter play to skip the champion.
I don't need the gold. I don't I don't need to get greedy. I don't need that gold. Focus on this guy first. Those guys are very annoying with the bow. Just babies are just... Took that hit. Oh, it's a champion baby too. Leave me alone, you bastards! Okay, uh, 30% deal to enemy. No. Heal for 16. Alright, right now, I. I. Yeah, I think I do this. This is my best option to keep as much health as possible before I enter the final boss. Oh. Do I do this? Yeah, I think I do. Alright, the traps are really beneficial in this arena. Oh, damn it. Damn it. All right. Well, it was only one hit, so that's that's not as bad as if I had gone against the twins and just got, like, my health obliterated. I was going to take the uh, curse regardless. So, we're at three curses. Amount of gold. That's fine. I've got 14,000. I've got 14k. I don't need more gold. I got too much money. That's unfortunate. baby. Oh, there's two babies. One of the champion. Shit. Shit. Stop killing the baby. Oh. That felt like it went on for far too long. That thing trailed. Oh dear. No. Come on. Stop summoning the freaking babies. No. Doing amazing on health. Now we're doing okay on health. I should have taken that other relic that increases your damage by a thousand gold because I realize I actually have a real a lot of gold. All right, rats. The dark avatar of the jaguar. 
Um, I might be able to. I might the the. I'm. There's a chance. There's a good chance. I've got good health. I've got decent stats. There's a good chance I do this. Aspects of cruelty. I just don't get cocky and don't try and over extend. Don't overextend. What's he doing? All right, take the time. Don't overextend. Positively peachy. I'm overextended. Extended. Oh, I've got this. I've got this. Did I beat the game? Did I just beat the game? I think I beat the game. Why would I take that? Why would I take any of these? I can't go forward. <laughs> I beat the game. I beat the final temple. Unless there's another room or another boss after this. Is there a final, final boss? Is there a penultimate evil god? There is. We're in the Tomb of the Dead now. Okay. I am so confused right now. Um, let we got high perception, so let's see what this is. Destroy two, the two highest relic level relics carried. Your highest level relic is destroyed. Up to three other relics gain one level. All of your relics gain one level. All weapons lose one level. Your highest level weapon loses one level. Well, your lowest gains one. All of your weapons gain one level. Inflict 25% max health as damage. 10% max health is randomly healed or inflicted. Regain 100% of magic of max health. Offer gold. All relics gain one level. All relic gain one level. I mean, I've got, I've got the gold for it. I'll take them all. What's going on? What's okay? Oh, do I fight that? Do I fight that? I fight that. Who's your final avatar? Or are you the Avatar, or is it just the the god Clovis? Okay, Champion of Death. Okay, cool. Okay, curse lifted. Don't overextend. Okay, what the fuck, man? Hey, 
here as long as it's not babies that he's spawning after me. Behind him. All oh, corrupted. Get behind him. Davers infestation lifted. That's really good, actually, because now I don't have those um, bat things coming after me. Behind. Oh my god. No. Dark mark removed. No. Okay, that's Real bad damage. I want to focus on the sword guy first. I'm overextended. I'm overextended. Oh my god, I was overextended. Oh. Damn. Okay, thank you for watching. That was... This has been Curse of the Dead Gods. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please be... Please click that like button. And if you're not already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Helps this site grow. Again, thank you for watching. It was it was a hell of a run. I now know I have to defeat... Clo Clovis Baradu, champion of death. I'll see you next time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.